Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... Things aren't going amazingly. In the dark place, we're still in the dark place, and that's enough of a problem on its own. <laughs> in the real world... Well... Let's see, Casey's gone missing. The Cult of the Tree has explicitly attacked the uh, Elderwood Palace Lodge in their desperation to reach Alan Wake and apparently kill him. Uh, and now Alan has been taken into custody by the FBC, who, judging from their history, plan to throw him in a box, lock him up, and never, ever, ever let him out of the building again. May God have mercy on our souls. But, while Saga tries to figure out how to deal with this problem of jurisdiction... I wanted to go in here and check this off to see if Alice was inside the, uh, Parliament Hotel. What? No, the Parliament... Parliament Tower, is it was? It's Parliament Tower. Yes, yes, yes. Before we do that, shout out to Fay Otter, who says, Ah, yes, the good old Bag of Holding, one of the most powerful magic items. I believe he's referring to, uh, you know, the way inventory is working. Cultists performing a ritual that requires an object of power? Steal it and put it in your bag. Need to carry around a bunch of cups for some reason? Put them all into your bag. Put a bunch of ball bearings inside and flip it inside out. You need a quick distraction. Ball bearings everywhere. Need to send a creature to a place it can't hurt anyone? Put your bag of holding inside another pocket dimension and it will become your problem and your problem alone. Unless it can plane shift and then you're down a bag and back at square one. Which I might have just brought up bags of holding. It was from a few videos ago. I will say that, uh... I could really use a bag of holding. That was not the Y button. Yeah, inventory space is a bit, uh, tight these days. Given the way time works here, I'm wondering to myself if Alice gave it its name, the Dark Place, even though it's been here for hundreds, if not thousands, of years. Okay, Parliament Tower I get, but and the the owls I get for reasons I mentioned earlier. But what's at the six? Or is that a G? Maybe it's a street number. It's an even more elaborate owl. And the golden wings laid along the wall like that. Wait. Was this the way it looked the first time I came here? I mean, admittedly, for a second there, I was remembering the, uh, the loopy hallway from uh, the hotel, but... I don't remember the gold filigree. It has been a while. I spent the time since then wandering around in the hotel and in the woods, so, uh... Oh! <gasps> Go to hell! Return, Initiation 6. Oh, I see what they did there. The name of this chapter of Initiation is Return. The light, the flash things are set up. I think the idea is that there's flash bulbs behind this, but by putting this thin ass fabric in front of it, it means the white light spreads out flatly from this even plane as opposed to in a sphere or something. It makes it more even lighting. It was explained to me once by a photography enthusiast, but, uh,. It was a long time ago, and again, not a photography enthusiast. Well, there's the door with a spiral on it, but here's a computer I can get into. Uh, let's start from the bottom, with greetings from Hollywood, Barry Wheeler, two years ago. Uh, from Barry Wheeler to Alice Wake, uh, 
July 23rd, 2021. 12.30 p.m. Hey, Alice, I'm more a fish out of water in Hollywood than I ever was in the Pacific Northwest wilderness. These yuppies that are glow-in-the-dark teeth couldn't be more fake if they had six fingers. And everything is so fucking great all the time, even when it's in fact the, op uh, the opposite. More than once I've thrown up in my mouth during meetings of these movie exec jerks. But I gotta be here to look after Al's legacy. Everybody wants to gobble up the film rights for the, uh, the Casey books, and they have moronic ideas of what to do with them. It's my duty to hoard, herd this horde of tanned zombies into the general direction of something resembling good taste. I'm painfully aware how deeply Al would have hated adaptations if they didn't do justice to his vision. He was a master of hating things deeply. For good reasons. I mean, that's why we loved him so much, right? Anyway, gotta hop on another video call now to talk about casting your pal, Barry. Joined a cult from Barry Wheeler to Alice Wake. May 11th, 2022, 9.01 a.m. Hey, Alice, you're going to think I've been replaced by an evil double, but I have joined a cult and I love it. Joking about it being a cult, kind of. Blessed wellness retreat. I don't like the use of the word blessed. Working with Al or the Andersons is tough sometimes, but these movie biz types are insane. My stress levels are through the roof. But then I was tipped off about the retreat. The best decision I ever made. I have never felt this good and, well, healthy. The guy who runs this place, Chester, is a goddamn miracle worker, not a wacko in any way. I know you think I'm full of shit, but I have lost a ton of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Chester says I'm lucky to have ended up here, that something bad would have happened to me if I'd stayed in New York. I believe him. I wasn't feeling great after everything that happened, especially after those FBC creepos wanted to chat with me. Enough to turn anyone into a conspiracy nut. I hope you're good over there. Come visit any time. West Coast is not as bad as I made it sound in my earlier mails. Your pal, Barry. Checking in from Barry Wheeler to Alice Wake. Uh, June 20th, 2022, 8.23 p.m. Hey, Alice. Checking in because I haven't heard from you. Everything good back there? I've been trapped in non-stop meetings with no breaks. Open kimono. I have considered peeing in a mug and lunches be damned. Open kimono? What? How is these people ever get a movie made and all they do is sit in meetings is beyond me. Your pal, Barry. I'll handle it from Barry Wheeler to Alice Wake. March 28th, 2023, 4.44 a.m. Isn't the number four, like, representative of death in Japanese? Hmm. Hey, Alice. Shirk sharks circling. They now want to turn what happened to Al into a movie and or a TV show and or, get this, a fucking video game. I told them to fuck off. Also, in case you hear about this from someone else, a true crime writer named Tammy Booker is working on a, cr a book about Al... I hunted down her publisher and told them we'll sue. Don't worry, I've got you covered. Your pal, Barry. <laughs> Fucking video game. Pardon me for a moment. I found it! <laughs> I found it. A sequence from uh, Max Payne 1, where uh, some of Max's enemies attempt to kill him by giving him a massive overdose of uh, an imaginary drug called Valkyr. And uh, instead of dying, he just gets so profoundly high that he has a dream where he breaks the fourth wall. Yes, here it is. He discovers a, a note sitting on a desk in a recreation of the home he had with his wife and child. There was something disturbingly familiar about the note on the desk. The handwriting was all pretty curves. And the note, of, the voice of his dead wife says, You're in a computer game, Max. And Max replies, The truth is like a green crack through my brain. Weapon statistics floating in the air, glimpsed out of the corner of my eye. The repetitious act of shooting. Time slowing down to show off my moves. The paranoid feeling of someone controlling my every step. I was in a computer game funny as hell. It was the most horrible thing I could think of. <laughs> I just thought that was too perfect. And one last email. How is everything? From Barry Wheeler to Alice Wake, May 9th, 2023, 11.03 p.m. Hey, Alice. Everything good with you back home? Just checking in. Tried to call, but couldn't reach you. You're probably just deep in your creative process. I know you how you artists get when you're in the middle of your projects. Everything else disappears. If you call back and can't reach me, I'm doing whatever it is an executive producer is supposed to do. Still a mystery to me. 
Oh, and if you want me to help with anything business-related to your ex exhibition, just say the word. Your pal, Barry. Hmm. You know what's really... kind of touching about that? In the original game, it was made very clear that Al uh, Barry and Alice don't even like each other very much. That th They uh, made a point of putting up with each other because they knew Alan wouldn't get rid of either of them. Barry was his best friend since childhood, and Alice is the woman he loved with all his heart. Yeah, I did note that, actually, that, uh... You know, Alan had a problem with alcohol and drug abuse, apparently, during his two years of, uh, writer's block. And, uh, he punched a paparazzi once. But at no point did it even come close to suggesting that, uh, he was unfaithful to Alice. Oh, good, a TV. Hello, oh, Alice. No. After Alan died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened. By the confusion. The shock. The... The guilt. Fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. What's this documentary? Oh! When the hell did I find a word of power and not spend it? A word of war. Um, fuck it. Increases double-barreled shotgun damage by 25% when hitting multiple enemies with one shot. I do tend to just shoot them in the fucking head, but, you know, it is a shotgun. Okay, then. Yeah, I was even, it was starting to say there that... The fact that they have kept in touch and apparently remained at least on friendly, like, addressing each other terms? It suggests to me they're really making an effort because of Alan's, well, memory. Since they seem to believe he's dead. I think that's supposed to be one of the Taken, except inverted. Since it's a white fit silhouette with weird boots on. Alice's work had consumed the apartment her whole life. That's a picture of Alan, but it's un unnervingly recent, with the long hair. That's just, mm, that's just a bunch of smudges. It kind of looks like a Rorschach blotch to me. It looks like a humanoid figure. Covered in tar. To me. Smears of it. The darker, the better. I don't love that. Need to show you the truth. I think this is a layout of where the camera traps are. These must be more photos of Scratch. I didn't say anything while I was on the thing, by the way, Justin, but there is a pa uh, pa paper stuck to the wall above the TV where it was playing Alice's message that says... Part 1. The Depths. Love is Weakness. Trigger when viewer... Close? Intimate? Oh, the TV is meant to trigger when... Oh, she's setting up the exhibit as a test, like a rehearsal. Surely it wouldn't be in her apartment, that would be madness. Bunch of muffins on the floor. That's weird. TV just set up in the middle of the hallway. Also weird. More TVs. Oh. Well, 
One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. No. And that's when I got myself out of bed. And I picked up my camera. Part two, the comeback. Weakness is clarity. No, you can't build off of love is weakness. That's terrible. If you start from the position that love is a bad thing, you're only going to turn into a monster. Just need want... No, just need to show a glimpse. Make sure you see what's beneath the surface. Right next to a bunch of pictures of hands reaching for the underside of water. Ah, oh, good. There was something in the dark. The dark the light behind her just went out. Something I needed to see. I don't like that. To show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. No. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. I really, really don't love the light flickering on and off behind her there. I can't even tell what this is a picture of. Oh, and next to this TV it says, Part 3, The Search, Clarity is Purpose. Well, see, that's not so bad. Alright, you know what? This is clearly the way I'm meant to go, so I'm confused about the door with the swirl on it, since it's where I was heading last time. I, mean, I did save, technically. I could just jump cut past all the stuff I've just done. If I have to load. I needed to get inside the manuscript. Okay. It's just locked or something. I feel like that guitar is too small. It doesn't seem to line up with the size of Alan. But yet it's way too big to be a ukulele. All the lights are off in this part of the apartment, and I don't love that. Oh, good! Yes, I forgot about the wall of TVs. There's a world hidden behind ours. Dark tide ebbing and flowing against reality. Faces in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography can freeze reality in a snapshot. You can put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there. Okay. That that image, it's it's the figure in the uh, the doorway, the one that shows up every time I start the game. Part four, the realization purpose is strength. No boundaries, be ruthless. Connection, then pain, pain through love. Oh, connection through pain, pain through love. Oh, God, and the face of Alan or Scratch keeps appearing on the screen. Oh, it's 
say hi to the dark place, the art of Alice, Alice Wake, sorry. No dead me this time. It's weird to see the exact same view as the menu, and then a dude walks out into it, I must say. The full manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. She's a I had ringer? I reached the end. Oh! That was definitely Mr. Scratch. Hey, uh, another Alan just walked into the room and shot Alan in the fucking face with a gun. So you're on the same page as the rest of us, Justin. There's like a 20 minute cut of this song. It's just all of them together. Don't much for me. The man don't live for you, I see. Wake up, wake up, it's only a dream. On a winding road. Now they're in my bed. In the dark chamber of my head. I flip you over to you, bed. This winding road Don't you ever let me go Forever I am Play and pretend Forever Won't get to end This message that you send To this Sorry about that, I messed up my outro. So, uh, from the top.
I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake 2. When I press continue, and we find out what the fuck happens after Alan gets shot in the brain by his arch nemesis. <laughs> this fucking game, man. I love this. Oh, boy. Do the right thing, don't go fixating on the dark, and stay in the light. <laughs>